John yeah. has yes. a wonderful new book in the shops right now, ladies and gentlemen. It really is a great read. I've really, really been enjoying it. Oh, it's, good. It's oh, good. a fantastic read. Um, what made you want to do it, and, and was it something that you were scared by, telling your whole life story? Uh, my career has been full of weirdness for 30 years now. Uh, and, and basically, it, it just escalating episodes of weirdness, uh -huh. uh, uh, sort of culminating with uh, the two and a half men craziness, uh, and then this today. <laughs> I wish yeah. today. Maybe we'll make the paperback. Yes. Maybe we'll make the paperback. <laughs> but uh, you're, yeah, as you say, it really is amazing when you're reading it. You're all of the incredible projects that you've been in. So like theatre, films, all these things, like it's a 30 year career and then you get to Charlie Sheen and it really gets real. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Comes to a screeching yeah. halt. Have you heard from him at all since you wrote the book? Um, yes, we're there, we, we, we have communicated a couple of times. We are, we're on speaking terms. Uh -huh. uh, we don't really hang out. Because <laughs> uh, you kind of have to decide how much Charlie Sheen you want to invite into your life. Uh, and I, I, I really, I wish him the best, and I, I hope he decides that he wants to be sober again. That would be awesome, because he was awesome for, you know, six years of yeah. sobriety. Uh, but that doesn't seem the way he's going, I believe. So. Now, Frida, it's been uh, seven years since Slumdog Millionaire, which was a film... <laughs> ..which absolutely changed your life I and know. career, really. In that seven years, how have you managed to not go full Charlie Sheen? <laughs> no, you know, because you have a huge movie and it wins Oscars and things like that. Yeah, that's what be. happens. That's she's how you do. go full she tiger, be tiger blood, right? I know. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but I think that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? No. That he did not come my way. No, I don't mean him personally. I just yeah. mean the vices. <laughs> <laughs> just to be clear... <laughs> I felt like I was being clear. I wasn't saying... In the seven years, how have you avoided sleeping with Charlie Sheen? <laughs> what I was saying was, how have you managed to stay clean and look after yourself in the midst of such adulation? Oh, thank you for clarifying. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I stay away from Charlie Sheen. That's okay. how I do it. Okay, that's it, that's it. That's how I've done it. I mean, Grace, now you've got your own show, I imagine you're gonna... I can't wait to Charlie Sheen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's gonna be great. But I will say, though, in the midst of all of the crazy that was happening, I, I mean, I'm no stranger to, like, terrible internet comments and the web videos that I make. I thought that Charlie's tweets had this, like, weird, beautiful poetry about them, even yeah. though it was, like, tiger's blood and all of this crazy. Mm. I had to appreciate, like, the lyricism in there. Yes, it was like yeah. J.R.R. Tolkien on, yeah. on mescaline. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was impressive. It was impressive.